By the way, bago mo panoorin ang video na ito, itry mo muna kanyang isolve. Now, kung masolve mo ang problem, wow, thumbs up sa'yo. You're really good in math. Kung hindi naman, I will show you how the solution bit by bit or step by step. Hindi madali isolve ang ganitong klaseng problem. Kailangan lang ang little trick. Now, here's a trick. Ang kailangan lamang natin gawin ay convert natin lahat ng bases na given as the same base. Kasi mapansin natin na ang mga bases sa radikan or sa loob ng radical sign ay 63, 3, 4, and 9. So, we will try to convert all the bases as the same as prime numbers as, as 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. Now, kung nahihirapan ka namang ihanapin ang prime numbers sa isang given na number, meron akong mga video na about prime numbers, details by details ang approach. I will write down the link below. Moving on, let's begin with 63. So, we will factor 63 na ang base ay puro prime numbers. So, anong ba ang mga pinatawag na prime numbers? So, these are the prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on and so forth. So, we will divide 63 by each of the prime numbers na kailangan ng sagot should always be a whole number. Now, if happen, kapag hindi whole number ang sagot, we will continue dividing by the next prime numbers. Now, let's start with the prime number 2. If we divide 63 by 2, the answer is not a whole number. So, hindi pa pwede ang 2. What follows prime number 2? The next prime number is 3. So, we'll divide 63 by 3. So, 63 by 3, the answer is a whole number which is 21. Now, 21 cannot be divided by 2. So, what follows 2? So, we have the prime number 3. So, we'll divide 21 by 3. 21 by 3, so that is equal to 7. So, the different prime numbers now I. 3, 3, and 7. So, we can rewrite 3, 3, and 7 as 3 square multiplied by 7. So, meaning to say, when we simplify 3 by 3, so that is 9, times 7, and we will come up with 63. Now, replacing uh, 63 with this one is equal to, so we have 63 raised to x plus 8. We will replace 63 by 3 square and 7 raised to 2x plus 8. Now, simplifying this, we can apply the power of power by just simply multiplying the exponent of this power by n. So that, that becomes a is equal to mn. Next, we will simplify the denominator of the given radical, which is uh, 3 raised to 2x plus 9 times 4 plus 9 raised to x plus 5. Simplifying, so we we retain this. So we have 3 raised to 2x plus 9 multiplied by 4 plus 9 can also be written as 3 squared multiplied by x plus 5. Simplifying this, so we have, so simply retain, so we have 3 raised to 2x plus 9 times 4 plus we have the base 3. Then multiply 2 by x, so we have uh, 2x. Then multiply 2 by 5. So we have positive 10. Simplifying it again, so we have uh, 3 raised to 2x plus 9 times 4 plus 3 raised to 2x plus 9. Multiply it by 3 raised to 1. So if you take a look at this, this is the same as this one. If we are going to apply this formula, the product of two powers. The product of two powers having the same base of a, just simply copy the base A, then add the exponent M and N, so we have M plus N. So that's the same as this. The base is simply uh, the same as 3. If we add the exponent 2X, so we have that 2X, and 9 plus 1, so we have 10. So this one basically is the same as that by applying this. Simplifying now, we have 3 raised to 2X plus 9 has the same 3 raised to 2X plus 9 here of the second term. So, we can apply the factoring using highest common monomial factor. So, the highest common monomial factor of this expression is 3 raised to 2 x plus 9. Okay? So, what we will do then is to simply divide the first term by the highest common factor. So, 3 raised to 2 x plus 9 divided by 
3 to x plus 9, so cancel out. So the remaining term would be positive 4. Then, copy the plus sign here. And the second term, if we analyze the second term, we can cancel 3x plus 2, 3 to x plus 9, and 3 to x plus 9. And the remaining term would be positive 3. Okay? Positive 3. So then, therefore, 4 plus 3, and what will happen next? So this is 3 raised to 2x plus 9. 4 plus 3, so we have 7. So this is a simplified form of the denominator. 3 raised to x plus 9 times 4 plus 9 raised to x plus 5. Plugging in the simplified form of the numerator and the denominator of the given radical, so we have this as 2x raised to 7. So this equivalent to 3 raised to 4x plus 16 multiplied by 7 raised to x plus 8 divided by and the equivalent of this which is this one so we have 3 raised to x plus 9 multiply by 7 now if you take a look at the the fraction 3 raised to 4 x plus 16 and 3 raised to 2 x uh, plus 9 we can make use of the quotient of two powers having the same base of a this is only applicable kapag pareho ng base since pareho ng base a just simply copy the base A, then subtract the exponent. So, i-apply natin yan dito. Pareho sila ng base, and then we will subtract the exponent. Okay? So, we have this as, just simply copy the base 3, and then 4x minus 2x, so we have positive 2x. 16 minus 9, so we have positive 7. Now, ganun din ang gagawin natin dito sa, dito sa second term. 7 raised to 2x divided by 7. Since pareho sila ng base, pwede rin unin natin itong i-apply. Okay? So, just simply copy the base 7. Okay? So, 2x minus 0. Okay? So, we have 2x. And 8 minus 1, understood na exponent ng 7 ay 1. So, we have uh, positive 7. Now, if you take a look at the... Uh, Radican 3 raised to 2x plus 7 multiplied by 7 raised to 2x plus 7. Okay. Mapansin nyo na pareho yung exponent niya. So, pwede uli natin apply yung formula ng power of a product. Ano ba yung power of a product? Ito yung a, time, a times b raised to m. That is the same as a raised to m then b raised to m. Now, applying the power of a product formula. So, we now have... The quantity of 3 times 7 raised to 2x plus 7. And then simplifying, so we have 3 times 7, so we have uh, 21. And then that is being raised to 2x plus 7. Now, if you take a look at 2x plus 7, 2x plus 7 here, we can cancel 2x plus 7 here. Okay, so cancel 2x plus 7 and 2x plus 7. So the remaining term would be 21. So the final answer is simply 21.